Five hitters in the lineup with at least 10 home runs, and Jack Caglione is the biggest of the big guns with 27 home runs, and we are underway. Friday night guy, even though it is Thursday, and he walks Cade Curlin, went on to win the national title that year. Got away from Devin Burks and another free base for Florida. Just underway here in Lexington, and that is into the alley, and that's going to get down. Curlin had to see it drop, which he did, and into second easily with a double Wyatt Langford, and just like that, Florida takes a 1-0 lead, double number 19 on the year for Langford. Made the all-tournament team last year, the NCAA turn all-tournament team, and he's going to knock one up the middle. That's going to score another run. And the Gators with a 2-0 lead. Wildcats haven't gotten anybody out yet. A walk, a double, and a single. Big hop for Grant Smith and an easy try for two. Make it 6-3, and there are two outs. Travis Smith would like to have had last inning. That's what every pitcher would love to have. And that's a rarity, a strikeout of Emilian Petre. Well, makes for a good leader, too. 94 miles an hour, but way up and away. And by doing things like that, drives it into the alley. Felker makes the turn at second. They'll hold him at third and sliding in with the double. Here comes Felker. He ran through the stop sign, and he's out. Well, he's there blocking the plate. I mean, the throw didn't take him there. He has got, he looks like he's just standing there blocking. I'm not sure what the rule and how it's interpreted well, he anymore. Had, he had the ball by the time Felker got there. Yeah, it wasn't going to be close. No. That one dies in the mid of Caglione, and they can't make the play. And look routine. That did get him. Yep. Bounced as short as last time up. And that's a balk. No, go oh, ahead. I'm yep. sorry. The arms and gloves and everything coming at you. On a 3 1 pitch, Petre uh -huh. swinging. Nobody's going to get there. And that's an infield single and an RBI for Emilian Petre. <laughs> Got him again off speed. And Wildcats leave him loaded. Grant Smith to Petre. Do it, Had boys. Had a double clutch, but he got it out of the mitt. And a second double play for Kentucky. Scheduling some tough road games, not conference win, uh, schedules. And Jace Felker with a base knock. Into the alley, takes a look, turns on the Jets, sets a double. With an opportunity. And now, a man on third and nobody out. McCoy swinging away at 3-0. That's deep enough. Robertson collects. Felker tags. And it's a 2-2 game. No pun intended. <laughs> Off the mid of Fabian. Grant Smith takes a look. Fabian couldn't find the ball. Pass ball down and away. They're at first and second now. Got him to chase. On a breaking ball in the dirt, and that'll do it. But the Wildcats manufacture another run with a double. An All-American. Gillum crushed it into the alley. One hop off the fence. Takes a look. He's still moving. He may have to go back to second. Yeah. The outfielders for the Gators are saying that bounced off the railing, and I think they're right. I would agree with them. From what I saw here, it looked like it went off the. Turn the top 16 seed. That's what it takes. 3 2. Got him with another off speed pitch. Comes down and in a three pitch mm. strikeout. Uh -oh. And that is hit a long way. And that will bounce out of the ballpark. Another ground rule double. One, two. 
Off-speed pitch is drilled into left. Waldschmidt chases it down in the corner. That's going to score a run. It's another RBI double for Lankford. That combination of Lankford and Curlin has worked well together tonight. And finds his way on again. Hangs a breaking ball. That's going to yep. score a run. Waldschmidt surrounds. And the throw in the second to keep the runners at the corners. And now it's a 4-2 game. And on the team to Caglione. This trouble. Towering. Waldschmidt on the move. Fair ball. It's another extra base hit for the Gators. And two more runs for Florida. 3-2. Hung it. That's an RBI single. And it's a five-run sixth inning for the Gators. 3-2. Fooled him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts and a good outing for Mag Cotto, but the Gators do major league damage. They bunch their hits. They put up three doubles, five runs. That's why they lead it 7-2 on the SEC Network. And here's another one of those keys we're talking about. I mean, three pitches. He comes right after you, gets ahead, and then is able to put you away. That's what Grant Smith is looking at. One ball, two strikes. Uh-oh. That's crushed. High and deep to left field. Langford underneath it, and he can't get it. It's gone. Grant Smith with a towering big blue bomb, and he makes it 7-3. to three. He's been on a power tear as of late. Got going down in Tennessee. He said, that is a small ballpark. Well, this one is not, and he got a hold of that one and drives it out of the ballpark. Pitches down, looks like a changeup that he goes down and gets. He wears, it, curling. Go ahead. And he wears that mint like bench we used to wear his. His hand was so big. Jammed him. Felker couldn't get to it. Grant Smith could, but not in time. It's an infield single. Five runs, six inning for the Gators, and that's past wow. the lunging Petre. Third base knock for Lankford, and once again, the top of the order getting it done. Hitters count right here. Came with 94, but it was low and away. 2 1. Hunter Gillum. He'll make sure a one and a run scores. And again, the Gators lead it by five. RBI ground ball by Josh Rivera. So now BT Ryapel doubled his last time up, drove in a couple of runs and sends it right back to center field. Two more runs batted in for the Gator catcher. Florida having some fun. 92 and he blew it by him, but the Gators do more damage this would be win number 13 against a ranked opponent for Florida. Petre turns on it, but there's Wyatt Langford. And that'll do it. Florida comes to Lexington, breaks open a close game in the sixth inning. 